Disney's A Strange World is now available to buy on physical home media thanks to Disney, and in this video I'll be taking a look at Best Buy's exclusive 4K Steelbook Edition. I'll leave affiliate links down below in the comments if you'd like to pick any of these standard releases up from Amazon. Thanks to Disney for sending over this copy of Strange World on 4K. Perhaps not so oddly, given the film's box office performance and critical reception, Disney has limited the standard 4K release of the movie in slipcover to a Disney Movie Club exclusive, meaning the only way you can get the movie on 4K for general sale in the US and Canada is this Best Buy exclusive steelbook. The steel utilizes beautiful artwork from one of the movie's first posters. It's bright and vibrant with a beautiful metallic shimmer. No embossing on here, but it's clean and classy and suits the movie very well. As with all the Disney movies, this one comes with a 4K disc and a Blu-ray disc, and the steel presents them with disc art. There's a digital code here as well. Strange World is an interesting anomaly in the Walt Disney Animation Classics canon. Not only is it the lowest performing film in their history at the box office, but it's narratively and thematically a bit different from most Disney fare, taking on the style of a classic adventure, pulp, sci-fi in the Jules Verne style, Strange World is actually quite a lot of fun. There's great action, beautiful heartfelt moments and plenty of excitement. Unfortunately, the movie does fall quite a bit short of the usual Disney quality, narratively at least, coming off a little generic, plain and derivative of what's come before. Regardless, Strange World is an absolutely stunning movie visually. It's perhaps the most vibrantly saturated Disney animation ever, with vivacious colours colors leaping off the screen at every single turn. Each passing sequence is more beautiful, more engaging and more engrossing as the movie goes along. With the added punch of a stellar HDR pass, owning the movie on 4K is an absolute no-brainer. As I always say, I never truly find 4K to be a huge upgrade for animated movies outside of the HDR pass, but Strange World, more than any other, truly proves the power of the media. While the accompanying Blu-ray still looks great, it does look lifelike in comparison. As far as special features go, we've somewhat surprisingly been treated to a very nice package of supplements. First up is a near 25 minute Anatomy of a Scene featurette, which explores the making of one of the film's most challenging sequences in great depth, breaking down the process of brainstorming, workshopping, crafting and pulling together an incredibly ambitious and arduous scene, in turn giving a wonderful look into the creative process of Disney's computer animation division. There's also a 14 minute feature focusing on the science behind the movie and two fairly surface level five minute featurettes breaking down the film's creatures and easter eggs. There's a great two minute outtakes reel not only giving us a rare extended look at the recording of dialogue for a Disney animation but giving us a fun one at that. And finally there's the standard 12 minute selection of deleted scenes with director introductions all in animatic form. All in all while this isn't a serving of features worthy of the heyday of Disney home media this is a great selection in 2023 terms. The Anatomy of a Scene feature is hugely welcome and the best non-Disney Plus exclusive making of piece we've had from Disney in some time. Despite the lackluster performance of the movie, I'm very glad Disney still pulled together a very welcome and surprising supplemental package here. Overall, Strange World comes recommended on home media, particularly in 4K. While the movie isn't anything incredibly special to write home about, the stellar presentation, one of the best looking 4K animated titles yet, and really great selection of bonus make this one a must add to your collection. And at that, I want to know your thoughts on Strange World and if you're excited to get your hands on the physical disc, if you'd like to hear me talk more about the movie, don't forget to check out my most recent video essay linked on your screen.